So how to charge three batteries with one single 120 watt solar panel. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh just come away from uh a few days away and i've i've basically got a separate leisure battery setup i've got two leisure batteries but they're not connected to each other and the reason is now the question you're going to be asked is why don't you just connect them up right as you see all the videos right the reason is they're batteries of different types and they're the same voltage of course but they're slightly different amperage so i didn't want to put them together and i didn't want to invest in brand new batteries uh at the same time also where my leisure battery sits in the motorhome there's only space for one leisure battery so i've got one leisure battery in its receptacle and i got another leisure battery uh beneath one of the bench seats so when i installed my sonar panel i had one feed go into a two battery solar controller and i had the other feed going into a single uh, battery solar controller. The single battery solar controller goes to the other leisure battery, the one that's under the bench seat, and the, uh, the twin battery solar controller goes to the leisure battery and to the vehicle battery, right? And what I had, I had a big master switch where I could just go to one side or the other. So I could either charge the vehicle and leisure battery or I could flick the switch and just charge the secondary leisure battery, right? But I came across a problem the last few days is that I found that I forgot to charge up the other leisure battery, the secondary leisure battery, before I went away. Uh, so I thought, right, uh, what I'd really like to do is actually have both charging at the same time and not have a really big chunky switch uh, as well. I wanted to have separate switches. So essentially, if I can just show you on here, this is my original setup. I've got the vehicle battery that also goes into the DC charger and that charges up the main leisure battery. I got AC hookup that goes into fuses and that does the whole AC supply in the fridge and in the camper van. That goes into the DC charger as well to charge up the laser battery. That goes to the 12 volt supply around the van. Then from the vehicle battery, I could also do my 12 volt accessories by the cigar lighters, that kind of thing. And I also got a small little uh, AC inverter as well, which I can just charge my laptop on the go. So from the solar panel, uh, that went into one big switch and I could either flick it to the solar controller that does two batteries or the solar controller that just does one leisure battery. And off that, I've got a 1200 watt inverter just for emergencies. Uh, but I've also got uh, an external shower water pump set up uh, out in the garage. And I've also got uh, from that an external uh, 12 volt accessory supply. So really what I wanted to do is change this setup here so I could have all three charging at the same time. Granted, it will take a little bit longer, but I'm not concerned about that because I could leave this for two or three weeks at a time uh, without using the motorhome and it will charge everything up and just trickle charging it. It'll be fine. So this is what I've got now. Exact same setup, but I've just got two smaller switches and I've just gone into uh, two uh, blocks. So this goes, in, the positive goes into a block and that feeds both switches. Then I've got the uh, negative uh, terminal block. And I, instead of going to the switches, I've actually gone direct to the solar controllers. So then the solar controller switches, those go to the each solar controller and then they feed each way. So initially I just had the one switch and it just went from one side to the other and it, it worked fine. But the switch was really chunky. Now I had thought about getting another switch where I could just go left side, right side, both at the same time uh, or, or off. And the problem is, and because I'm using the heavy gauge wire, uh, that switch would be really, really big and also... I found it really cumbersome just to get all the wires in the first time around. So I thought, right, I don't want that. I want to have um, smaller switches that can still handle the amperage and the voltage, of course. Uh, and and uh, that's what I've done. So it's working great. Uh, all I need to do now is just swap out one of the wires. I, I run out of cable. I just need to lengthen it a little bit. 
but it's working great. So that's my uh, three battery setup off a small uh, solar panel. I can isolate each one. If uh, let's say I'm going to leave the camper over winter for a month or so well i'll switch off the secondary leisure battery i don't need it then i'll just put the, all that into the uh the le main leisure battery and the vehicle battery also off the main leisure battery i also run my wi-fi as well and that's for my uh my uh my security uh, on the van as well i've got an indoor camera uh which i use as well so there you go, that's how you uh, charge three separate batteries uh, with one solar panel. Uh, whilst it's going to be a little bit less, uh, whilst it's going to take longer, because obviously it's just one solar panel, um, it'll, uh, it will work. And hopefully I won't have any more problems afterwards. So if you're in a similar kind of dilemma and you've got separate batteries and they're, they're a different one and you don't want to hook them up together, this is what I found to be probably the best way to do it. Now, you could say just invest in new batteries all the same and you won't have problems. Yeah, granted, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to keep with this for now and see how we go. Right. Hope you found that useful. Please like and share and hopefully you'll subscribe for more motorhome ideas, whatever I can come up with. Catch you again. Bye now.